Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Anna. And I'm Chu. And we're Inca Reacts. Today we are going to be reacting to Artemis's pre-2 through pre-4, uh, which are Flower Rhythm, Candy mm. Crush, and Air. Um, what do you know about the comebacks? I actually have been spoiler free. <laughs> so I don't even really know like the concept of any of these videos. I'm super excited to get into it. I love Artemis. Yeah, I know absolutely nothing. I haven't even seen any teasers or mm -mm. photos or anything. But after pre ones, like incredible, birth. yeah, birth, mm -hmm. incredible first impressions of mm -hmm. like what Artemis was gonna do as a group, I'm super excited. So without further ado, let's dive in. Ooh, is this a dance video? This it might be. This feels like it's gonna be a dance video. Oh, I love that. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, he just started off the song is God, so they're good. They're all so blonde. They are. Ooh! Except for Jinso. Kim with voice there. Whoa! <gasps> I have like chills. <laughs> this is so weird, but what good. What the? Just happened there. Oh, oh Kim Lip looks so good. I'm sorry. Wow. This is so. Oh my god. It's so different <laughs> from there. <laughs> yeah. This is giving more hyper pop. But you know what? Like, the instrumentals still are kind of, like, intense. chilly. Yeah. Yeah, and intense. Like, the, this... Uh, Hasul's voice. She looks so good blonde. Mm. It, it's so interesting to me. The, the subs in the um, video are automatically translated. Oh, yeah, true, true. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Luna, the queen of bridges. You, They're so good literally. every single time. Uh. <gasps> I love this chorus so much. I like the choreo. Mm -hmm. It's pretty simple, but I just like it. Their concerts are going to be lit. Oh my god, they are going on tour. <laughs> the, yeah, Ooh. I can imagine this Ooh. being like super fun for stage. That was so good. Mm -hmm. All right, that was... The first of three songs, uh, Flower Rhythm, what did you think? I thought it was really good. It felt very, like, I'm going to say Birth, like, shocked me, right? When mm -hmm. we listened to Birth, I was shocked. And this felt more Luna. Like, it gave me, like, it comforted me after Birth. <laughs> They were both very good, but like <laughs> one, yeah. one made me go, oh, and the other one made me go, mm, yeah. <laughs> like mm -hmm. it's different still to like what Luna did, like what Luna's music sounded like, but it had the same like the instruments used, the synths, the really um, intense like hits on of the um, drums. Like it mm -hmm. all felt like they fit it perfectly. You know what I mean? I don't know. It was just, I liked it. I loved it. Like, it's something that I like is going to go on my playlist. I'm going to listen to it. Yeah. And also, I want to say I appreciate how um, it feels like they're going really hard, extra hard. You know, they always went hard into like aesthetics and visuals. Mm -hmm. But like conceptually, they're going really hard into like each concept to fit the oh, song. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, I agree. Vocals were great. Outfits were great. 
yeah, just really, really good. What I found really interesting is that the song is called Flower Rhythm, and to me, I don't know if it was just me or not, but the rhythm and like the beat and everything sounded so chaotic at some points. Yeah. So I don't know if that was like into it. One hundred percent was intentional. I think. Um, another thing, while you were talking, it was killing me to think about it. I it reminded me so much of a different Luna song, and I finally figured it out. Yeah. Um, the synths are super similar to Uncover. <gasps> yes. The Odd Eye Circle song. Yes. Yeah, it, it reminded me so much of that song. So that's why it felt so Luna to me. Like you said, the girls did amazing. I really appreciate that this was more like a performance video mm. after getting that like cinematic masterpiece yeah. that was Birth. So I had a lot of fun just like, you know, not having to hyperanalyze anything, just enjoying the music, enjoying the performance. Yeah, um, for once we're not confused. We get the lore. No, we get it's it. We just get it. Them dancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except for that one time they turned into metal. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping it was just a that part. Yeah, it was aesthetic. They're, <laughs> they're the title of the album. I think is called Virtual Angel. Mm. So to me, it was kind of them like glitching out, kind of. I don't yeah. know. I might be dumb for that, but. Um, and that was my interpretation. And at the end, Heejin did, like, when they turned around and walked, I just liked Heejin's walk. She just looked really, like, she was Ooh. swaggering. Like, she was, like... <laughs> I did not see. <laughs> um, but, yeah, really good. I'm so curious mm. to see what Candy Crush and Air sound like because these two are so different from each other. Also, we keep mentioning our birth reaction. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. We were yes, stunned. We, loved it. we were, like, jaw-dropped. A little bit scared, but very into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next is pre three Candy Crush. I think we said in general we we have no idea what's going on with any of these. <laughs> yeah. So let's just dive in. Ooh, ooh. City Pop. Oh, I've seen pictures of this. Wait, this is um, this is Plastic Love, or Plastic Candy. This is Hasul's um solo. Is it? That their instrument. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Ooh. I'm a sucker for retro sounds. Oh, I love City Pop. And he didn't look so good. America Core Jin Soul. Their voices suit this style so well. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, what? For me. Kim Lip. Those pants. Oh my god. Hasul. <laughs> I think they're using part of Hasul's solo song they might. for this. They might be. Kim Lip, stop. I want their voices oh, this... like in my ears. You know, like I know. Listening isn't. That's why well. I've been it needs to That's be... why I've been pushing my headphones. It needs to be in my head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> mm. See, they they said plastic candy. <laughs> Wow, I love this so much. Oh my god. This music Vocals. video is also so cute. They're just so smooth. I'm getting goosebumps again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Cuties, they're so cute. They are. Oh, Jinso's voice is like so soothing. Who do we think struggled the most roller skating and why was it Kim Lip? <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely Kim Lip. Zero doubts in my mind. <laughs> oh, she's in the back too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. Vivi would have ate this. She already had a roller skating music video. Oh my god, America Core Pants on. 
Eugene. Uh, I want to listen to that like a hundred times. Pre four, pre uh three, Candy Crush. What did you think? I thought it was so my like my style. Like mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for retro. I'm a sucker for like city pop and like just that vibe. It's always easy listen, uh, easy listening. Like that song is one that I could just have on repeat playing like as just like literally as like background music well to my life while I do things. Their vocals were so good. Their vocals are always so smooth. Yeah, I said it during the reaction, but I want it in my ears, like deeper than yeah. just headphones. The music video is very cute, even with the America core. <laughs> 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 there was just so much to love about like a song that isn't necessarily experimental. Like I know there's like a lot to love about Luna's ex uh, Luna's experimental side, but sometimes like some of my favorite songs by them are the ones that are very like simple you know yeah like for me like even like um oh no i can't think of the name now and i know exactly what i'm thinking of star star <laughs> great song like it's not super complicated it's pretty simple but it's like one of my favorite songs yeah it, it suited their vocals so well just was such it was so good it was so good what'd you think yeah, this is going to be a song that I listen to on repeat for, like, the next month. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, like like I said, I am pretty sure I could be crazy that this uses instrumentals from Plastic Candy. Mm -hmm. um, and that song I listen to for, like, a month straight, too. I just think their voices suit City Pop so well. For me, especially Jinsel and Chetty. I think their voices are just mm. so smooth and complementary to the genre. I absolutely like this might be my favorite post luna song if <laughs> air doesn't do something crazy i just like you said the music video it's so nice to just see them having fun mm. and like being together i everything about this was just perfect for me i like it yeah these songs and the music videos are all taking such different directions it's kind of like it's an, it, it shows their uh What's the word I'm thinking of? Oh, they're not like their diversity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Their versatility. They're not locked into one box. They can literally do it all. They're so talented. Um, and I do agree that like uh, Cherry and um, Jin Sol's vocals. I think it lends itself like city pop and like that kind of style lends itself to a tone that's a little like richer and a little more yeah, full. Like buttery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, but. They all sounded so good. Hustle mm -hmm. on the uh, bridge. Fantastic. You know, like, mm -hmm. just so incredible vocally. Like, I also just like when they use their lower registers, too. Yeah. Like, um, Candy Crush was super high. Mm -hmm. And then this one was a lot lower. So I enjoyed it a lot. Very good. I'm going to agree with you that this might be my favorite of, well, of the four, of the three so far. That might be my favorite. I was including Lucemble too. <laughs> and Chu. I'll have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> yeah. We still have the new Lucemble song to get to. Yes, too. we have a lot to get to. and A lot of new Luna. More to come. Like, for, so. Eve. Yep. So we have a lot. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'm not going to say it's my number one. I feel like I have to re-listen to a lot of um, the stuff that came out. But definitely of these three so far. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the, our last video for Artemis, at least for now until they have their comeback, their full debut. Uh, pre-4, Air. Oh. That was loud. That oh, this is Air Force One. I like that that's tying in. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this is very different from Air Force One, though. <laughs> uh, it's another just having fun video. This sounds like it's going to be a lot more pop, like traditional pop. Ooh. <laughs> I like the little, uh, the beat in the back. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That 
Ooh. Whoa, what the? It's... It... Is it like a little Latin-y? A little bit. <laughs> oh, I feel like it's a lot of Latin-y. It's like the, um, it's so so the sound is bouncing from ear to ear. Like, if you pay attention. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I hear. <laughs> a Jinso rap after forever. <laughs> I've missed it. The change-ups are crazy. Ooh. I really like their soft voices here. Yeah, they're not. So, the instrument definitely like carrying the flow of the track here, and they're mm -hmm. pulling back, which I enjoy. I like it. It's so fun. A little shock, shock. <laughs> that instrument in the back, I'm like, I I know the name for it, and it's leaving my head right now. Ah, I like that. <laughs> that was our last song. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun, but Anna, what did you think? I have a lot of thoughts. Mm -hmm. The vocals were great. I can say it forever. And it'll always be great, and it'll always be a true statement. If I say Luna can sing, Artemis can sing, you know, like, that's always true. We got a little talk mm -hmm. rapping from uh, Jun Sol, which I'm <laughs> happy about because I just, I don't know. I I want to hear more, like, rap rap from her, but that's okay. I just missed it, you know? Yeah, I agree. It was a fun music video. They were just having fun. I just love seeing them have fun and, like, you know. Also, I do want to ask a question, if anyone knows. Jinsel, red hair. Everyone else is blonde. Just making a theory, I think it might come into play. It's going to be representi representative of something in the title music video. That's my theory. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a question. I asked a question. I said I had a question. It wasn't a question. <laughs> the music production and the um, instrumental, I have a lot of thoughts on. First off, definitely like drove the song, as I said. Um, the little, like, when the song did the switch up, that instrument in the background, which I don't know the name of, it's probably some sort of synth, mm -hmm. kind of remi reminds me of like, what are those, the little instrument with the face on it? You know, the thing that you like squeeze? The automaton? Yes. Something like that. But it kind of reminded me of that. Um, I loved that. It, mm -hmm. it, 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 it broke up a song that like, while wasn't boring, could never be boring, was not super different to like, super special so it like really broke up the song and made it luna's like that made it like a song that i'm like this is definitely the girls from luna mm -hmm. but yeah really really good the i think there was panning in that song like i couldn't i after you said it i'm not sure if it happened Cause but i, I did hear like some instruments in one side and others in on the other side. I just feel like when I was, well, it could have been me too, pushing one ear <laughs> harder than the other, headphone harder. <laughs> but like the way I was listening to it, I was like, hold on, hold on, it's moving. <laughs> but I, it might not be. It might have just been like, diff you're like different instruments in different ears, mm -hmm. not necessarily panning, but like I found that really cool and it made the song more interesting. It had a good rhythm, it was very summery. Yeah, and there was like, I want to say, I don't know if it was actually a guitar or a different stringed instrument, but there was some really cool, like, guitar picking, stringy yeah. stuff going on um, in the background. And yeah, the, yeah, the instrumental layers were really interesting and good. Like, I just, like, really enjoyed it. And I, after this, I'm going to listen to this again and s listen to more yeah. <laughs> and see if I can pick out more interesting things. Because I always love that. It always feels like, like, um, like a secret level like you know, <laughs> you're just finding mm. out secret things about a song you know um but very very good you know it's not the song that i usually go to for like if i'm just casually listening 
but I think this is gonna be stuck in my head for so long. The the chorus where they go like, uh, they say something like quick 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 shock yeah. shock. Oh, that's gonna be stuck in my head for forever. I really loved like the Latin Caribbean vibes it had to it. Like you said, it's very summery. So I just it's getting hot out. I'm gonna be. That's the mood I'm gonna be in for the next forever. I always say that there is something about like. Uh, brass instruments in a song that get me and there was some like trumpets yeah. and stuff in the I, they were definitely synths because they didn't sound like traditional yeah, trumpets except for like real. very specific parts but it really added a lot to me for uh, for me t- it added a lot for me um, in the song um, that made me like it a lot so yeah it, like you said it's good to see the girls just having fun I wonder where they were, because that did not seem like a Korean house. Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea. Before we wrap this up, let's say our favorite of the... Th- I guess the four. Four, yes. Yes, four. In order? Um, no. Let's not, let's not put one at the bottom. We'll just do our top one. Yeah. Mine was definitely the first one we listened to. Candy Crush. No. The roller skating one. Which is the second one we listened to. Yes. We listened to Flower Rhythm, Candy Crush. Uh, yeah. So it was Candy Crush and then Air. <laughs> My favorite was Candy Crush. I just, I'm a sucker for city pop. Yeah. So I will definitely, I'm going to add all of these to my playlist. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that one I can listen to any time of the day and be happy. Now, after I suggested that, I'm going to cheat. I'm picking two. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's going to be Candy Crush and Birth. Because birth. Oh, yeah. of two different reasons. Candy Crush, for what, like you said, listening. But I think Birth, for if I want to watch a music video, I'd run to that music video and watch it many, many times and still not know what the hell's going on. But, you know, like, <laughs> watch mm-hmm. it. Is, yeah, there's so much visual interest in that music video that, like, it goes so well with the song. So I feel like for just my ears, it's Candy Crush. But if I'm watching and listening, Birth. <laughs> I will say, I listen to Birth daily. It is a casual yeah. listening song for me. <laughs> I put it on my work playlist that I play out loud <laughs> at work. You're so. scared. You're scared you're in a horror. <laughs> yep. No, I listen to it every single day. I absolutely love that song. So... I don't know what I would put second because it's very tight um, after Candy Crush, but Mm. I do listen to Birth a lot. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below what your favorite of the four was. And we will see you guys all next time. Bye. Bye.